so we all knew this was gonna happen. Yep. All right. That's right, guys. Back to the Good future. Evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Iney. Hey, boy, get in there. That what we're boy. basically seeing is a recreation of what happened in the first movie with the whoa, recording whoa, whoa. Okay. device that Please basically that is Marty was using. With my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. Now, just some information for everyone who is um, watching this. If you haven't seen Back to the Future, please watch the movies before watching this. If my calculations are correct. And this baby also, this is a point-and-click adventure, You're but I'm going to be using an Xbox 360 shit. controller for the um, purpose of making it a little simpler on myself. Um, if anyone's ever played Sam and Max, this is basically what that is. It's made by the same people. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the cutscene. And I'll come back to you in a few seconds. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! And for anyone who has watched the movies, and if you haven't, shame on you. This never happened in the movie. Uh, Everything that's happened until that, that moment in time huh, happened in the first movie. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened, to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Anyway, guys, um, if you've ever played a point-and-click adventure, you pretty much know what you're doing. Um, you can control your character with the keyboard using the point and click What's in the box? stuff. Don't touch that. Um, you can controlling. also use directional buttons, also Xbox 360 controllers. I so, I mean, there's different ways of playing this watch. game. Like I said, I'm playing this with the Xbox 360 controller. So, I'll get these little icons that basically show me what I'm close Notebook. to. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My, My guess is the that they basically put this in to explain for and people who probably haven't played the game because this is all just basic knowledge we already know. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional. Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Uh, Doc? Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! 
Once more, none of this happens in the first movie. This is all just really crazy shit going down. Sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Doc! And it was a dream. Now, for anyone who's big in the 80s stuff, like I am, you can notice there's a weird science poster. Marty? Is everything uh, okay? Oh, Frankenstein poster and a Miami Vice poster. I mean, yeah, Mom, I thought I, I like that little touch was, they put into the just game. A nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. And Doc was there. That photo is from Back to the Future Three when they went back to well, 1886. You're safe and sound now, back in good old 1986. Or 1885. I'm sorry, I was thinking since this, this one takes place six up. months Your after the last you. movie, huh? so Weren't you going they to are now in, right in May crap, of 1886. Of 1986, blah. I am out of it today. <laughs> but anyway, the setup to this game is basically it's been six months after uh, Marty returned with his girlfriend Jennifer um, to see the DeLorean get run over by a train. Uh, Doc has disappeared after disappearing at the end of the, sec uh, the third movie, and he hasn't been seen in Hill Valley since then. Um, six months down the line, his property is up for sale, and basically that sets up for um, Marty being there at the exact time when uh, everything sets himself up for seeing Doc again and a new adventure. Um, this Let's Play episode is really just going to be mostly in, well, really this is all the action it's going to get to, but we're going to be in um, Doc's basically little house that he had in the 80s basically where we actually were introduced to Marty and someone got a little bit of a premise of what was going to happen in the movie um, in the first movie um, you actually are introduced to Marty after he uses that little well not a real little but it, that big amplifier to basically launch himself back with a guitar and as you can see right there the estate sale it's May 14 1986 the sale Better late than never. And that is his father, George stuff McFly. That back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. That is his father's nemesis and sort of his as well. Treasure. He's always been him or any one of his family yeah, has always I'm been just... there to cause McFly's problems. And we'll be seeing Wait, another man. one in a few more episodes, hopefully. Um, the way I'm going to be using these um, Let's Plays is basically going to be me trying hey, to me... make it seem cinematic in some way, alone. even though I'm going to be talking. A very emotional time but um, basically make oh, it sure. believable that Sorry, somewhat of a movie or a TV show. So I won't be like going straight up into the stuff. I'll be actually um, probably talking to some people and just basically getting some information. Just make it look pretty decent. Um... So I, I've beaten the game already, hey, and this is just my playthrough for the Let's Play. But um, I'm gonna make it look like What's Biff doing somewhat. Here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. That it's like it's I said, like a TV show. Morning. So everyone's allowed, <laughs> even Biff. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated. And I'm not really going to go over what I do. It, it's pretty Isn't straightforward right how I'm going to do it. You got it, Mr. So McFly. if you want to um, ask me any questions after every episode, you can About just leave this. a comment and all that good stuff. I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll usually just pop in I'm for commentary you, and such. So, for a few months, like I, I said, just be. Told us he's not don't dead. expect he's a lot for this let's play. Let's say you're um, right. 
Have you considered There's not really that much to talk about in a point and click. Um, usually when there's something that needs to become up or trivia, say, like I said, I'll talk about it. But other than that, it's not going to be much of me explaining everything. So, I mean, like I said, straightforward. You'll be able to know what to do if you're trying to play this game. Predict the future. Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <clears throat> weird stuff. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, Weird stuff, eh? Think? I guess, but... I feel like it was telling me something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. Yet another the... prop from the original movie. Is that Doc's notebook Except in there? for the notebook hey, stuff. That looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, yeah. You're always a retard, uh, can, Biff. Can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah! Hey, Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Now, a little hint for everyone. Sorry, I actually son. got stuck here Must for a little bit. Um, you do have to up. talk to your father, and you do have to tell him to not defend you every time you do something and Biff comes in. If so, he will interrupt when noise. Biff's supposed to basically come in here and get his ass kicked from being his own idiot self. And if you don't talk to him, you won't be able to keep going. So um, that's the one hint I'm going to give you all for this one. You must talk to your dad and tell him to leave. Um, just let you defend yourself against Biff. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. And Biff says Butthead as always. Let me show you how it's done. Yeah, he's the one with the shitty hair, do. And he's about to do what Marty learned not to do ever again. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, bitch. This time, it wasn't cardboard boxes. Oh, it was just a straight up ass whooping. Gotta enjoy it. Doc, where are you? What's that sound? And Marty's confused. Last time he saw this sucker, it was run over, destroyed, collapsed, destroyed. Anyway, guys, this is it for today. Um... I would open up the DeLorean, but we have run out of time, so I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in part two. Anyway, we're going to leave you here, and we will see you later. <laughs>